The spine is a flexible collar made up of 33 bones called vertebrae. It is made flexible by discs located between each vertebrae and ligaments made up of tough elastic fibers which hold the vertebrae together. The spine gives the body stability and protects the spinal cord which is located in a narrow canal that runs through the center of each vertebrae. This delicate cord is encased in a tough fibrous membrane and surrounded by cerebrospinal fluids which provide further protection. The spinal cord is a delicate tube of nerve fibers and nerve cells that extend from the brain to the lower back. Together, the brain and the spinal cord make up the central nervous system. The function of the spinal cord is to relay messages from the brain to the body and from the body back to the brain. All movements of the body and limbs and all sensation are relayed through the spinal cord. The spinal cord also plays a part in the transmission of messages from the autonomic nervous system which regulates many body functions such as heartbeat, blood pressure and temperature regulation. Note that damage to the spinal cord can disturb any or all of these functions. Injuries to the spine and spinal cord occur when the body is exposed to forces greater than these body parts can withstand. Spinal injuries result when only the bony structures and or ligaments are damaged. Though the area affected will promptly need to be immobilized until it heals, otherwise the spinal cord is not affected. When an injury involves the spinal cord, the flow of messages between the brain and the rest of the body is interrupted or cut off. This interruption results in a decrease or loss in movement and or sensation below the level of injury. The higher the level of injury, the more the body is affected. The 33 vertebrae that make up the spine are separated into five groups. At the bottom of the spine, there are four coccygeal vertebrae. These bones are fused and make up the tailbone, otherwise known as the coccyx. Above these are five sacrovertebrae called S1 to S5. These are also fused. Nerves from this level supply the pelvic region. The five lumbar vertebrae in the lower back are called A1 to A5. Injuries at this level can affect leg and foot function. There are 12 thoracic vertebrae in the chest. These are called T1 to T12. Injuries at these levels can affect leg and foot function and the chest and abdominal muscles. At the top of the spine, there are seven cervical vertebrae in the neck. These are called C1 to C7. Injuries at these levels can affect lower limbs, chest, and abdominal muscles, as well as diaphragm, arm, wrist, and hand function. When damage occurs higher up in the spine, there is a greater loss of function. Injuries to the spinal cord are called complete or incomplete. A complete injury means that there is no transmission of messages beyond the level of injury. This results in no sensation and no voluntary movements below this area. And incomplete injury means that some messages are being transmitted. These messages can either be movements and or sensation. Injuries to the spinal cord are also divided into two groups, paraplegia and quadriplegia. Paraplegia causes paralysis of the lower limbs and lower trunk resulting from thoracic or lumbar injuries. Quadriplegia causes paralysis of both upper and lower limbs resulting from cervical injuries.